Okay, welcome back to uh, Big Data New York City. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante, my co-host. This is theCUBE, our flagship program, where we go out to the events, in some cases create events. In this case, we are in New York City at the Warwick Hotel, right across the street from the Hilton, where Hadoop Summit and uh, Strata Conference is taking place. Big Data New York City is part of the bigger theme of the Big Data Week going on here. And uh, Dave, I'm excited to be with you here because one of the things that's, one of the things that's actually happening here is um, that we are here having our own event. And a lot of people don't understand what's going on with theCUBE. And uh, I, want, I want to explain it. I want to, I want to take the time to explain it. Yeah, so John, why are we here? Why are we here? We're at the Warwick Hotel, right across the street from the Hilton. You can see it you know, right from here, from our, from our studio here at the Warwick. Why are we here? Okay, we're here because our relationship with O'Reilly Media has changed a bit, and, and the ecosystem, and, and we're here because of Hortonworks and when Disco's generous underwriting support, and from overwhelming support from the community of big data to allow us to come and support us. We're sold out, not sold out, we're filled up all week. Uh, we had to start early today. We already got about eight segments already done today. Our whole focus with theCUBE from day one was, we really didn't have our hand out today. We're an open source content, and we want to, to give back, and to us, we believe that the best content is still out there to be had, and our mission from day one with theCUBE was to go wherever it takes to get that story, to share perspectives, take the human component of the story out there and share that with the crowd. And one of the things we felt strongly about was going to these events. And we've gone to all the events through the Hadoop world, except for the first one, but 2010 is our fourth year. Um, and then we've been, to, we've been to all the events, Dave. So it was a shock to us when uh, O'Reilly Media asked us, actually didn't even ask us, they told us that they don't want us involved in any more of their shows. So we said, okay, no worries, we'll still come down here, and we're coming down here on the, sh on the floor at the, at the work on the, on the main first street view behind us, you can see, uh, covering the event. And again, we, we want to, to be part of the community, we are part of the community, and we're proud to be present at creation from day one of the big data community. A lot of other people coming in, Johnny come lately into the industry, we're happy to be here from day one and we give back. So one of the reasons why we're here is we have a commitment to programming in this area, and we want to continue to do a good job. We're known for going deep, we're known for being meticulous about the editorial independence. Yeah, and sometimes you know, we don't proof check those spelling names <laughs> on the lower thirds, but we'll get to that. Uh, we just have a lot of fun doing it, Dave. So I want to explain to everyone, that is the um, situation. Um, well, I want to add to, the, uh, we can't thank enough the community for the support that we've gotten. Uh, John mentioned uh, WAN Disco and Hortonworks in terms of providing financial support, also uh, MapR, uh, the guys at Squirrel and Hadap, also you know, providing support. But more importantly, the individuals that are helping us create the programming. So Hillary Mason is coming on uh, the Cube. Uh, Alistair Kroll, Kroll has agreed to come on. Uh, 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 Ed Dumbill. Alistair Kroll and Ed Dumbill are the co-chairs of Strata. So that's you know fantastic that they've agreed to come on the Cube. Amar Awadala. Uh, Amar Awadala is coming on. Chris Lynch, who's a partner at Atlas Venture. Ben Haynes, who's the former CIO at PAPS. He's now the CIO at, at Box. Merv Adrian's coming on. Rob Bearden, David Richard, Arun Murthy. These individuals are given their time to come on the Cube to provide in editorial so we can do independent coverage. John. That's what we do at these events. Yeah, you know, Dave, you, I've always said it, and I've said it from day one. I'm a big fan of Tim O'Reilly and O'Reilly Media. I've been watching those guys for a decade. I know all their moves, I know what they're doing, and I know their business. We are not competitive with them. So you know, a lot of people are like, what's going on? No matter what is said, just for the record, we feel great about O'Reilly Media, we like those guys. We're just not competitive. We just do a completely different thing. I mean, it's like trying to compare ESPN in the early 80s with all the networks. They're just different. I mean, we're different than them. So I think a lot of the things that I uh, you know, want to share is, and without going into great detail, is just cultural differences. We love sports. They love other fashion and, and other things, but just different. So we have no problem with those guys. We like covering them. More importantly, we care about going to where the stories are. We launched our CrowdChat application. We have our data science operation. We're using whatever tools that we can build to create the best stories possible, to surface those stories, to bring those stories with analysis, doing our best to reinvest in getting the better writing. And again, it, it's going to be a process, but we're excited to go to the events and go to where the action is and hear from the people themselves. It's all about the people and the community, Dave. Well, we had eight segments tonight, John. We got 17 segments tomorrow, 15 segments on, on Wednesday. So there's no shortage of, you know, continued, no shortage of demand for people who want to come on the Cube. So we're really pleased about that, because we really didn't know, John, what was going to happen when O'Reilly made the choice you know, not, to, not to include us. And so 
really thrilled about the support that we're getting. We'll be covering uh, Big Data NYC. We'll be covering you know, the activities, the announcements at Stratacomp and Hadoop World. Uh, a lot of guests coming over from across the street, literally across the street, big party tomorrow night, Tuesday night. So uh, I'm excited. Well, we're going to wrap it up here. Just going to review. I just put out a blog post with a lot more coverage. Again, there's tons of content hitting the network. Stay with SiliconAngle.tv. Go to Wikibon.org for research. I just put up a post just on the top trending stories from our CrowdSpots application. We're monitoring all the hashtags. We understand the social networks. Essentially, these are all press releases. These are all announcements. But this is the buzz. Top story in the community of tweeters, uh, map our wire security into Hadoop. We didn't talk about those guys today much, Dave, because we got really into more of the Cloudera Hortonworks conversation, which I did mention in the blog post. Great to see that conversation come to an end as Cloudera has acknowledged publicly that they are no longer competing with Hid uh, Hortonworks. So that's going to that's gonna change the game significantly in the Apache community. Second story is CSense breaks this rules of physics, again, promoting there. And then obviously, um, the big story in terms of substance but didn't get the virality was the HD Insight Windows Azure. Uh, I think that's mainly because I don't think Microsoft's as plugged into the community uh, as Hortonworks is. So I think Microsoft just doesn't have the credibility yet, Dave, in the industry uh, to get the virality. Um, and then the Cloudera partners uh, had an event here, got a little buzz there, a little press release. Although we have no details, we got briefed on, on the, uh, the program, but we weren't at the event. Uh, and then finally, EMC. Isilon made it. I think this is the EMC, you know, tweet machine going, work, uh, going, going berserk here. So Hadooping with us is free. So that was a, a, a conversation about Isilon. And I don't know if you remember, Dave, but um, our comments was Sinju Patel. As I said to him, you guys are more big data than Green Plum, and he kind of gave me that shake. And you know, Isilon's not known in the big data community. People think of Green Plum, which is spun out for Pivotal, but Isilon runs big data. They're in all the big web scale companies. Joe Huge. Tucci agrees with you, John. When I interviewed Joe Tucci in 2011, I asked him, what, what's your play in big data? He went right to Isilon. I said, well, what about Greenplum? He goes, yeah, they, they, you know, they provide the analytics. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're a carburetor. <laughs> 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 they're a carburetor in the big data engine. <laughs> they're now pivotal. We are here to yeah. break down the news. This is what we do. We love having fun. This is theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We're going to stay here for two more days of who knows what's going to happen on theCUBE. So we'll be, we'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow. Cube is a live mobile studio.